Hi guys and welcome to Natural Review. I'm Buddy1927. Today we are actually reviewing the Waltham Trager Adolf PZ4 uh, or Panzer 4. Um, that's as close as I'm going to get to it. I do not speak German. I speak English. And the only German I learned was watching Hogan's Heroes back when I was growing up. And for those who do not know what Hogan's Heroes is, it's a TV show that was back in the late 60s, early 70s, and it's on MeTV right now, so go check it out. Learn your history. Um, that's it. Now, this is the World of Tanks version of it, and I did find the real version of the PZ-4. That's it. Guys, in 1943, Germany decided to actually put this on the drawing board. And it stayed on the drawing board for until 1944, where they decided that it was impractical, or they went with a different design. I think it, I don't know what design they went with. This is the only information and only picture I could find. They never did produce any of these tanks. They didn't make a uh, model of this tank. All they it was stayed on the drawing board and then it was taken off. So that's it. But here in World of Tanks. What's on the drawing board can actually become alive in the virtual garage of World of Tanks. On the battlefield of World of Tanks, this tank has come alive. It's alive! It's alive! It's Frankenstein! Oh, sorry guys. Uh, flashback to something else. Sorry guys. Okay guys, this is the World of Tanks version of it. And as you can see, it does have its NAFTA seal on it, but it does not have my seal of approval. I just got this tank, guys. But the few games I have played on this in this tank, I've enjoyed it so far. So, you might see me on the battlefield with the skull and helmet on this tank. And if you do, say hi before I kill you. Nah, I won't kill any of my... If you're a green tank, you're good. If you're a red tank, bye-bye. So, this is the tank itself. There's a lot of things I like about this tank, but there's a lot of things to be leery about. So, let's um, bring up Tank Inspector. So you can see why you need to be leery of this tank. Okay, guys, this is Tank Inspector. This is the front hull. The front hull on this thing has 80 millimeters of armor. And it's slightly sloped, so Tank Inspector is saying it's 86. That's right here. Okay. Now, right here, you have 22 millimeters of armor. And right there, you have 12 millimeters of armor. So you got basically no armor up front. Now, Crush, I know you have this tank in your garage. Can you tell me how many millimeters of armor the turn has? What's that, 100? No. It only has 10 millimeters of armor in the front on the turret. Okay. Now on the side here it has 30 millimeters of armor. Now Crush, can you tell me how many millimeters of armor the side of the turret has? A hundred? No. Ten. Come on Crush. I've asked you two questions. You got both of them wrong. Now on the rear here it has 20 millimeters of armor. Now Crush, I'm going to ask you again. <coughs> How many millimeters of armor does the rear turret has? Ten. Yes, you got it right. It has ten millimeters of armor on the rear. Now, for the hundred million dollar question. How many millimeters of armor does the gun have? A hundred. Well, you didn't win a hundred million dollars. It has a zero. So, G Crush, what happens if you hit get hit right there? Yeah. Big boom. Yeah. That's right. You go bye-bye. <coughs> so, this this is the gun. Um, guys, my Ford Explorer has more armor. And that's made out of sheet metal. And I would not take that onto a battlefield. But, I will take this tank on. I don't know why. So, that's one thing you got to be leery about is the armor, guys. You need to play this tank as a tank destroyer. It's designed to be played. Not up front, but behind. Supporting the heavies. Behind the heavies. Not in front of the heavies. Behind the heavies. In a sniper perch. And it's places like that. 
you need to protect this right here. Actually, you need to protect this whole thing right here. <coughs> you need to get as much cover as you possibly can and hide this gun as good as you possibly can. So, that's the tank itself. Let me show you. Let's pull up the tech tree and let's show you how to get there. Okay, Crush, what's the first tank you want to start off with? That's right. The lawn tractor. Good going, Crush. You're on a roll now. Okay, you want to go to the uh, Panzer Jagger 1. Then you want to go to the Marauder 2. To the Marauder 38T. Now, you do not want to go to the, the new Snug Tier 4. Uh, the Snug 3B. Because that will take you down the non turned it um, line. You want to go down the turn it line. So, you go from the Marauder 38T to the um, Panzer SFL 4C to the Nash one, which is actually a pretty good tier 6 TD. Then you want to go to the Panzer SFL 5, then the RMH, which is an excellent tier 8 tank destroyer. Then, of course, you're here the Waffenschager Auto Panzer 4. Um, and eventually I will end up with the Waffenschager out of E100. So, that's how you get to there. Let's go back to the garage. Let's take a look at the tank itself and how it comes. Okay, this is stock tanking. Like I said, guys, I just bought this tank. But, once you get everything researched, it has actually pretty good arsenal. You got a choice of four different guns. <coughs> and from what I've been told so far... The 12.8 centimeter Carnival L61 is the t is the gun you actually want to use, but I will try all four to see which is actually the best. Because on the R RMH, the Top Gun wasn't the best; it was actually the stock gun. Now, when I research it, I already had four. Um, I already had the three radios already researched, so I went ahead and put the top radio on. It comes with a tier 5 engine, and you can upgrade it to a tier 5 engine, the higher tier engine, which is, gives you, you go from basically uh, 360 horsepower to 400 horsepower. Um, comes with tier 8 um, tr tracks on it, and you can upgrade to a tier 9 tracks. And one thing I'll tell you right now guys the first thing you want to research is the tracks because you cannot add one thing to this thing you gotta upgrade the tracks before you can add the new engine or any any uh, any of these three guns or before you can add any mods I do not have my gun rammer on here I don't have my binocs on here I don't have my camouflage net uh, you can't put any mods on here yet. You gotta upgrade the tracks before you can actually do anything with this thing. The only good thing about it, it does come with a good gun. Since we looked at the tank inspector, let's take a look at the um, specs of this gun. And we're gonna turn this so we can read this a little bit better. It does come with 1600 hit points. Um, maximum weight load on this thing is 27 and 27 tons. Um, engine horsepower okay yeah because it I'm already reached the max because it has 27 27 which means I need to upgrade the tracks before I can add anything um, the horsepower is the low one is the 360 the top speed on this thing is 38 kilometers per hour the traverse speed on this thing is 32 degrees per second uh, we went over the haul which is 80 30 and 20 um, I'll go over uh, the sh shell damage and penetration with the gun that I currently have on it. It does fire six rounds per minute. Uh, the gun traverse speed is eight degrees per second. View range on this thing is 410 meters and 700 meters on the radio signal. So that's the specs on this gun. Now let's go over the gun I cur currently have equipped on it 
and I'll blow that up so you can see that a lot better. <coughs> now the gun I have on this thing is uh, the 12.8 centimeter Kononol. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. 44L55. It's a 128 caliber gun. That's that's actually a pretty good sized gun on it. It does fire six rounds per minute. Um, which basically makes it have a nine second reload. Now if I had that gun rammer on there, it'd be down to an eight second. And that's actually pretty fast for a tier nine gun, guys. That's actually a pretty fast reload. Now the average penetration on this thing is 246, 311, and 65. The average damage on this thing is 490, 490, and 630. Now, one thing about this gun, it has 0.35 at 100 meters, which means this gun is pretty accurate, guys. As a matter of fact, most of the German line guns are pretty accurate. And the aiming time on this thing is 2.1 seconds. This gun is available for both the Waffentrager and the RMH. And the shells that you can carry on this thing is the standard AP. You can also add the APCR rounds or AK gold rounds. And you can also add high explosives to this. <coughs> so that's that in a nutshell. One other thing I do want to go over this and because the nat the shield right behind me is covering most of them I'm going to actually blow them up and put them in the center and that's the crew it comes with the commander the gunner the driver the radio operator and two loaders a crew of six well guys can you do me a favor tell me where are you going to put <coughs> excuse me where are you going to put six guys on this tank? I can see where the gunner goes. He goes right about here. I can see maybe I can see the loaders. M maybe two loaders here. One to get get the lo get the shells out of the hatch there, and one to hand them. But I can see we get the driver. And maybe the commander sitting there. But where are you going to put the radio operator? A uh, old well, tanks did not screw up. According to the research I did on this tank, it was designed. And was supposed to have a crew of six, just like World of Tanks says it does. So, guys, I have this tank in a replay. It's actually the first run I did with this tank. So, let's see how good this tank does straight out of the barn before anything was added, before everything was added up. The only thing I did do with this tank before my first run is I did buy the top radio. And I did transfer my crew from the RMH to here and got them trained up to 100% and they kept all their skills and perks which basically they have two sets of skills and perks. That's the only thing I did. I, I can't add anything else on. I can't add the gun rammers, can't add anything else on until I research the tracks. So let's take a look at this gun in action. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, guys, when the Waffentrager Adolf Panzer IV, and this is actually the first run um, of this tank. And I don't know what. But we're going to take a look and see what map we're on. One Mordovica. I don't fit Russian either, as you all can tell. I have a 35% chance to win. I'm actually ranked second overall on this. So remember guys, this is a stock tank. The only thing I've added to this tank is the high-end radio, which was already researched when I bought the tank. And I took my crew from my um, RMH and put it in there. And that crew does have two skills or two perks on each of the crews. So the crew is actually pretty well... is has a good start in grinding but other than that this is just a basic tank setup I don't have any of the mods or anything like that so we're gonna see what this tank can do straight out of the box 
Gonna try to get some cover over here. Hide behind these houses because you want to definitely hide this tank as much as possible. And you actually gotta play this tank a little differently than what you normally would. And CW of the Natural Clan taught me little things from watching him and the videos I did on him how to play these types of tanks. And you basically uh, drive them backwards to protect as much of the body as you possibly can. Now it looks like the action is happening on the other side of the field for right now. And that's one thing about a TD, you can actually gotta wait and let people light up the tanks for you. Now on our side, we have four tanks on our side. We've got two tank destroyers, a heavy and a light tank. And the rest of the field basically went down to the one, two, three line. Oh, we got a tank here. Let's see what we can do. Hey, got first hit. Actually did some damage. 496. On on the low. Ah, oh, second hit. Let's see what I mean by the reload, guys. This has a pretty good quick reload. I took a shot and missed. IS-3 that's playing games. So we know we have at least three tanks, possibly four. Or five, there we go. We got another heavy. Good, 525 hit on that one. This is the British, I think, tier 9 tank. And look at the reload on this. 577. Look, and the damage. I, this is why I kind of like this gun. And he's knocked out. We got another tank that's blacked out. And there's the IS-3. And I did... 528 on him. Another 455 on him. I mean, he's, he, he, is not, he doesn't even spot me yet. He's like, where the hell is this guy shooting from? It looks like the push is actually going pretty good. And remember, guys, we had 35% chance to win. The score is 7 to 3. It's now 7 to 4. We're actually winning this. Um, if you look, if you go by what XPM says, sometimes the matchup is a lot different than what it is. And I'm not going to move because right now, um, it's just me and a light tank here. Our heavy is gone. The other TD is gone. And I know I have at least three three different types of tanks out there. Ah. Took a blind shot at the J Panzer. I don't know why I'm doing that. Took another one and missed. I don't know why I'm taking a blind shot at it. I'm actually going to push up for it. There we go. There's the Oh, that's the um, IS-3. Finally finished him off. Okay, that's my first kill of the day. And it looks like most of the tanks have run. Oh, there's an E-75. Let's see what this gun can do against an E-75. 479 in damage. That's not pretty. That's pretty good. And remember, the reload on this is actually pretty fast for a tier nine. A 444 hit. I look. I mean, look at this, guys. I, this is why I like the tank. Don't ever do what that guy just did. He just pulled out in front of a TD. Which means, if I would have took my shot, he would have been dead. And that's game, guys. And as you can see, that definitely was a victory. And let's take a look at what we did. We got Master Gunner. And high caliber. Received 47,644 credits, 3,000 research points. According to XVM, I shot 12, nine, uh, 12, sh 12 shots, 9, nine hits for a 75% hit ratio. 
So that's not bad. Let's take a look at team damage. And on team damage, look at guys. I actually did a lot of damage, a lot more than I expected. I had the top damage overall. I did 4,493 with one kill. Guys, remember this this was the first run on the tank. And I and I did 4,000. Imagine if I had all the mods placed on here and a better crew. Imagine what this tank can do. So, let's take a look at the overall score. And the overall score again did shot 12 times. Nine direct hits, nine penetration with 4,493 damage. I received no damage, so that actually increases my hit ratio. And my damage dealt to damage received it helps out. I damaged four tanks, killing one of them. I received, again, 47,664 plus a Mission completed 39,299. Uh, this after ammo supply, I made 74,124 credits. And guys, this is a tier 9. This is the first run on this tank. And I made, I made a lot of credits there. Okay, I, re I received 1,000 research points and 49 free experience. And it was times 3 weekend. So I did receive 3,000 research points and 147 free experience. So guys, that is the Wolfen Jaga Auto Panzer 4. Okay, and that was the first run on, on that I did on that tank. That that was pretty good, guys. And this is why, and I've had about the same amount of runs and about the same amount of damage on it every time so this is a good tank to get um, if, especially if you go down the German line so I'd like to thank you for watching that the review check out our partners uh, Freedom and Exploit the links are down below in the comment section y'all have a good day and save some tanks on the battlefield for me